All right, I really like this hands-on exercise number five. You're gonna create a type square, create a type circle, attach, and these will both be structs. Attach a method to each that calculates the area and returns it. And I'll put those formulas in here. So when you look at this, you'll be able to see those formulas. Create a type shape which define, create a type shape which defines an interface as anything which has the area method. So we're attaching a method to each that calculates the area. So let me just make that big there. And then we're gonna have area here, right? That's important. So we're gonna create a sh uh, type shape, right? Which defines an interface as anything which has the area method. Create a type, I'm just wondering, that, that defines an interface as anything that has, I'm just shortening this sentence, the area method. Create a func info, which takes type shape and then prints the area. Create a value of type square, create a value of type circle, and uh, use func info to print the area of the square, use func info to print the area of the circle. And so we'll do square here, and we'll do circle here, and make those bigger. All right, so that's your hands-on exercise, and let's go uh, figure out how do we calculate area of circle, and that's going to be uh, pi r squared, and so uh, we will do circle is equal to copy that and put that here, area is equal to pi r squared, circle area is equal to pi r squared. I don't know how to make that squared. And then a square area is equal to length times width. That's the area of a square, length times width. All right, cool, so let's go ahead and do that. First you try it, pause the video, go do it, and, uh, and then once you've done that, come back here, unpause it, and here is my solution. So we're gonna go to the Golang Playground and we're gonna create uh, type circle struct and that's going to be uh, we need a radius radius which will be a float 64 and then we'll do type square struct and we need a length which will be a float 64 and then we need some func methods here so we'll do a func and then a receiver and we'll do area, and then parameters, and then returns. And we could put, it returns a float 64. And, uh, and this one is going to be attached to, this one will be attached to a circle. And this one will be attached to a square. And for the circle, uh, we will return, uh, it's going to be uh, C dot radius times pi and uh, pi r squared. And so it'll be c dot radius pi, and we'll do pi up front, and then pi. So we just need to get a value for pi. And I'm wondering if golang pi, we'll just look for golang pi math, the go programming language, and we'll come here and we'll just search for pi. And here's a constant pi in package math. That's totally cool. And so it's got a capital letter, which means it's exported, and uh, and there it is. So we just do math dot pi, and that will work. And so we'll do from package math use pi, and now I need to format this, and it brought in the math package. So it's pi times radius squared, and we're returning that. And for the square, our work is easy and square dot length. And is that lowercase length? It's lowercase. Square dot length times square dot length. And now we need an interface, so we do our you know keyword and then what we want to call it. And uh, what did we say we want to call it here? Uh, circle, area, and then create a type shape that defines an interface as anything that has the area method. And so a shape uh, interface is anything that has the area method. And so both a circle and a square implement implicitly, I haven't said that yet, 
they implicitly implement the interface. You don't have to explicitly say, hey, this implements that interface. It just implicitly occurs in the Go programming language. And so both the circle and the square implement the area interface. And so now that's that's been Im implemented. And uh, create a func info, which takes type shape and then prints the area. And so func, func info is going to take a shape and it's going to print the area. So format.println uh, s dot area. So call that, calculate the area, it'll return it and put that value here and then print it out. Isn't that a beautiful solution? And now we want to create a circle. And so uh, C is colon equal to a circle and our composite literal, right? So we've got the type and then the curly brackets and we put our value in there and a circle has a radius and that radius is going to be equal to a float 64 and so let's just say our circle has, I don't know, 12.345 uh, something and we'll format all that and then we have a square and our square is going to, uh, and I'll just do that a little bit Right, so it's a little bit more clear. That's kind of a weird for square. And now our square will have a length. And uh, the sides of a square, right, all four sides are the same. And so now we wanna call info, and we're gonna pass in our circ, and we'll call info, and we'll pass in our square. I like this example, and we'll get rid of this. And we could say circle area, and here we'll do square area. Isn't programming cool? When you learn to program, you join a club, and it's a club of insiders, and it's only the people who know how to do it are the insiders, and it's exclusive. It's an exclusive club, and the price that you pay to join that club is actually learning how to code. And when you know how to code, you join that club and you are in an exclusive club, one of the most elite and powerful clubs in the history of humanity because our skills are literally Jedi level skills which alter and change the shape of our species. It's amazing. <laughs> mm. It's amazing. <laughs> and I love that quote. Man, I love the way I just said that. I hope the camera's on. <laughs> That's awesome. We are awesome as programmers. We are awesome. So now I'm gonna format all this and run it. And blown up, uh, S area used as a value. So let's figure out what I did wrong. So the first one is on line 29, and I have S area uh, used as, an, as a value. So I should be able to call off of S, info takes a shape, and I should be able to call the method area but I will do this first. I will just get that value and see if this fixes it. X colon equal S dot area. I'm all like, hey, awesome, we're programmers. And then my program blows up. And uh, S area uses value still on 29. So what is the issue with that? And what is up with that? Um, Okay, so this is a, the signature of this function is area float 64, and I've just done area here. So I need to do float 64, and now I run it again, and too many arguments and call to info. I was thinking of this as a print statement, and that's not, I'm calling info, and I gotta take that out. I'm not passing arguments into a print statement. Now if I format it and run it, I get the area of the circle, and I get the area of the square. How awesome is that? Right, like just reflect on this code for a second. Like really cool. Circle, square, and then we have the circle with the area float 64. And uh, we return, you know, th this area is attached to the circle. This area is attached to the square. This shape says if you have this signature right here, you're implementing the shape interface. So we create info, which takes the shape interface and uh, we pass it in. We can just put this right here. I was experimenting with that for a second to figure out what did I do? Put that in there and uh, format it and run it and that all runs. Circle, square, and info. So that's the solution to this hands-on exercise.